This is the Rena Traps Rat Trap. And this bucket that you'll need to get, you'll need to get uh, separately. It fits right on it, but I'm gonna show you really quickly how this works and we're gonna set it up and you'll be able to see just how easily it is to get rid of rats and mice that you may have around uh, your place. You can do this by filling this with water, which I'm going to do, uh, but if you'd rather not do that and not have them uh, drown essentially when they uh, go into this, you could leave that empty uh, and not fill it with water. But essentially the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take this right here and you're going to put some peanut butter right in here. Because essentially what's gonna happen is this is going to be this flap right here. They're gonna be attracted to the peanut butter which is gonna be right in there and this is gonna flap open and we're gonna go into the bucket. So I've got some peanut butter and go ahead and be liberal with that and if you don't catch uh, some or you leave it out for a while you're gonna want to change this because this is gonna get gross after a while especially if uh, the temperature is really warm so you might just want to monitor that um, that's usually about the amount that I think lasts fairly long so there you go you've got peanut butter on there and how this works right here as you can see there's tabs right here, and then you're gonna see these tabs right here. And the way this works is this goes right on top of it, like so, and it sits and rests right on top of it. Okay, don't come underneath, you come on top of it like that, and you can see it, it just kinda easily, as the weight is distributed, when the rodent goes to this end, running towards the peanut butter, this is gonna flop down and it's going to fall in. Um, so basically I'm gonna put this on top of here and you can see how this fits right on here very easily. You just kind of line it up like so. Well, let me line it up. This has got this over the edge. It's just a matter of getting everything so that it's on the outside like so. And it's lined up. That's how you get it on there. And then this is the ramp that the rodent will run up to. And you can see on the edge, it's got these things right here. And you can see that's where this edge of the trap is. You just slide it into here like so. And now, let me hold it up there. You can see when you set it down, they'll be attracted to the peanut butter the scent of the peanut butter, they'll come up the ramp, they'll go onto here, they'll run to the back, and they'll go into the bucket. I usually get it about, I don't know, well, a little less than half full to this spot. So a little less than half, halfway. I'll put this back on. Just remember, this flaps on top. You want to get those going right there on the outside so that each one of those clips right here, as you can see, is on the outside. I've now got a bucket and I've got the ramp and I'm going to go put it in the spot where I feel like uh, most of the rodents will be. I usually put it up against a wall, as you'll you can see. That's probably going to be where I'm going to have the ramp. And I usually want to put it in a spot to where this is right up against the wall, so I'll kind of do it like so. And that gives a good little spot to where they can just kind of get themselves up onto that ramp. And then onto this, attracted to the peanut butter, which is still on the back, as you can see. And boom, into the water. And now we wait. <laughs> 